2,600 miles, roughly. Almost 1.8 million paddle strokes, but who's counting? I'm looking at the New York City skyline and the Statue of Liberty. It's glorious. So what Josh has done is pretty epic, man. To be honest with you, when he approached us and laid out his plan and his ideas, I thought it was ambitious to say the least. Not because I didn't believe him, just because I thought it was gonna be really difficult, really challenging. This is about saving lives after the battle, after the war. You know, guys back here are still in harm's way. They're still dying. A veteran suicide rate has to be curbed. We gotta do something about it. And traumatic brain injury and PTSD are the two biggest culprits, along with the prescription meds. There's a lot of people that get into things for themselves and Josh's entire purpose is to raise awareness for other people. It's been a struggle. Gale force winds, the Coast Guard pulled me off the water the first three days. I thought this is gonna be impossible. Doing 30 to 40 miles a day, I just, I tapped into parts of myself, my brain that, you know, I didn't know were there. I'm here with Pete Bazzelli, you know, he actually built Josh's custom board that he traveled the entire way on. So I thought it was an apt thing to do to bring Pete along and join Josh on his final leg of his trip. Uh, and I'm, I'm proud to be riding the boat brand because it's all about America. And uh, this, to me, this is America's board. He said in the beginning, man, never give up, never quit. He made it. My U.S. Coast Guard, they're out here. NYPD is out here. FDNY is out here. This is America, man. One team, one fight. You know, everybody believes in this. We're all in it together. This is one big win for the veteran community. No lane assistant. Never quit.